Israel has intensified its offensive on Palestinians across occupied territories since the beginning of the holy month of Ramadan. On Monday, April 18th, Israeli war planes bombed besieged Gaza near the city of Khan Yunis at midnight. Though no casualties were reported, the attack damaged civilian property. Last year in May, Israel had carried out bombings inside the besieged Palestinian territory for 11 consecutive days. This has resulted in the murder of more than 260 Palestinians and injured over 2,000. The latest attack on Gaza is part of a spree of violence unleashed by Israeli forces inside the occupied Palestinian territories since the last week of March. According to Palestinian Health Ministry, at least 25 Palestinians have died in such Israeli attacks since March 22nd. The forces have also attacked Al-Aqsa Mosque several times since the beginning of the month of Ramadan, injuring and arresting hundreds of worshippers there. On Sunday, April 17th, Israeli forces carried out fresh attacks on Palestinian worshippers inside the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound in occupied East Jerusalem. At least a dozen worshippers were arrested and scores were wounded. A similar attack was orchestrated inside the mosque compound last Friday, in which at least 150 Palestinians were injured and over 300 arrested. Al-Aqsa is considered the third holiest site in Islam. As per the laws, while Jews can visit the compound, they are not allowed to perform any religious rituals inside. Israel is an occupying force and Al-Aqsa is uh, central uh, to Palestinian uh, uh, existence uh, in many ways. And therefore, uh, while attacking Al-Aqsa, Israel gives a message. Each time it attacks Al-Aqsa, Israel gives a message that the Palestinians are under occupation and they should not take their rights for granted. Uh, Apart from that, uh, uh, the other reason uh, behind uh, Israelis, uh, and that is related to the first one, is uh, uh, Al-Aqsa being the symbol of Palestinian resistance. Any kind of large gathering inside the mosque compound basically threatens the occupation forces. They feel insecure, they feel threatened because they have seen during the uh, Second Intifada and in the subsequent uh, um, uh, resistance movement that how those uh, uh, the mobilizations, the calls, the the, uh, the symbols used uh, during uh, the gathering inside the mosque basically creates larger uh, uh, movement in the historic Palestines and across the world. Therefore, Israel's uh, insecurity related to uh, 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 gatherings inside Al-Aqsa Mosque basically leads to it reacting violently again and again. The Israeli forces also carried out several raids inside Palestinian villages in the West Bank on Monday and arrested at least 16 Palestinians. Amid the widespread violence and oppression, Palestinians observed a day of solidarity with Palestinian prisoners who have been incarcerated inside Israeli jails for fighting against the occupation. Protesters gathered in Gaza, Ramallah, Nablus and other cities, raising slogans of solidarity with fellow Palestinians in Israeli jails and demanding their immediate release. There are around 4,450 Palestinians in different Israeli jails, according to Adamir, the Palestinian Prisoner Support and Human Rights Association. 530 of these Palestinian prisoners are so-called administrative detainees who are held in some cases for years without trial or charge. At least two Palestinians, one in Bethlehem and another in Hebron, in the occupied West Bank, were wounded after Israeli forces opened fire at prisoners' day demonstrations. Both have sustained gunshot wounds and are hospitalized, according to the Red Crescent.